Today I jumped right back into my fitness routine and let me tell you, your girl was scared, right? The first day is always like the absolute hardest, it is insane. So I got sick about a month ago and it caused me to be out of my fitness routine for just a little over a month while I got my breathing back on track and all the things and it was a whole scene. Today is all about me getting back into my fitness routine because honestly to me, fitness and eating well go hand in hand and I feel like I'm pretty comfortable in the kitchen right now so it is time to get back on my game. So today I am sharing five super easy and fun tips to get you back in your fitness routine if you haven't gotten there already. And listen, no matter what, I am gonna be your rah-rah. I'm gonna cheer you on, we got this, let's go. So tip number one is to wear something fun. Now, hear me out on this, okay? This is easy and it is meant to be fun. So I don't know about you, but when I am starting something new, a new fitness routine, when I remember like first day of school, like a new outfit was the vibe or just something like that makes you feel like a boss, right? Like you are in charge. You open those school doors on day one and you're like, move aside kids, move aside. A legend has just walked in. That's how you need to feel when you are getting back into your fitness routine. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go shopping and buy something brand new. Look through your closet and find stuff that is inspiring for you, stuff that makes you feel good. So even if you're not feeling awesome in your beautiful body, know that you can definitely fake it till you make it, right? Right, wear something cute, something that raises your vibration. It's all about just feeling good. We just wanna do whatever we can to get ourselves back into our fitness routine. And if that is a new outfit, then girl, get it. Tip number two is to set realistic goals and to take it slow, baby. So listen, I am an all or nothing kind of girl, right? I jump in head first, cold turkey, all the things. I need it all or I want none of it. In my mind, I am Wonder Woman and I'm working out three hours a day, seven days a week. And I am out eating all the farm animals in all the vegetables because surely all of that is going to get me where I wanna be so much faster. Spoiler alert, that is not true. Not the case. Listen, if you wanna work out, for the long haul and you want this to be something that is sustainable and you do it for a really long time you have got to take it slow and you absolutely have to set some realistic goals so is it realistic for me to say that i'm gonna work out three hours a day seven days a week h no h no absolutely not my schedule is super busy so i need to be realistic about what works and where i can fit in a workout so for me i have always loved to get my workout done and over with super early in the morning. So that is anywhere like up until 8 a.m. depending on what my day looks like. And then at least starting off, I like to do four to five days per week. So that makes me feel good. It, it makes me feel like I am moving toward my goal, but I'm not going so hard, right? Right. So I know that jumping back into a fitness routine or even being in the middle of it or at any stage. Like I do want to take it slow and I want to be careful so that I do not get injured because I do want to do this for the long haul. I want to make sure that I have mobility and flexibility, especially as I'm getting older, because listen, I am not 10 anymore. Like I'm not hopping around and hopscotching and stuff. Like this body ain't doing that stuff anymore. So I want to be conscious of that. And I want to make sure that I am giving my body everything that she needs so that she will give me everything that I need. My next tip is to listen to things that make you so super happy and get you wanting to move. I love music. I have always loved music. I feel like every song is like, there's at least like part of the lyrics like stuck in my brain. I don't even know, I don't know. But ask me like a math problem and you got me. Please give me 10 calculators, do you know? So when I'm working out, I love to have good music going. On occasion, I'll listen to a podcast or I'll listen to a book. So whatever it is that makes you happy and gets you in the zone, just do that. I will tell you, there are times when I'm about to do like my first or last set of a movement and it's typically like my last set and I'm, an, I'm about to push like the heaviest weight. So I will stop 
before I start that set and I will find like my most pump me up song and I will play that and then I will go into my last set and push that heavy weight and it is always like My next tip is to know why you're getting back into your fitness game. Know why you're doing it. What is your personal why? For me, really, it's about giving my body everything that it needs. I want to do everything as holistically and naturally as I possibly can and remind my body that it is more than capable of doing the things that it needs to do, such as heal and definitely moving my body is one of those things. But for you, it may be something completely different. It could be a big event. It could be a challenge that you're in with a friend or a group of friends. I mean, it could be a myriad of things. But listen, on those days when you feel like super unmotivated and you're like, why am I doing this? What I really wanna do is be laid up on my couch, feet kicked up, bucket of fried chicken on my chest with a side of ice cream. That actually sounds really good. So you need to know your why, you know? Those are the times when you really need to dig deep and remember what you're doing it for. My next tip is to have really great people in your corner. So I have my bee who I love to work out with. I also have my puppies who are always here by my side. And you know, believe it or not, like even having my dogs close by just gives me the energy and the motivation that I need but you don't have to physically have people with you. If you do have your tribe, tell them what you're doing, tell them what your goals are and ask them to be supportive of you. And you know, you, you definitely need that, it helps. If you don't have your own tribe, there are so many great groups that you can join now on social media. You can Google groups in your area so that you can physically be part of a group or you can look on Instagram, Facebook, uh, even YouTube, I'm sure, where you can find groups of like-minded people that you can join up with if all else fails. And even if it doesn't, this can be your number one resource. It could be your 50th resource. It doesn't matter. I, I, I am always here for you. Hit me up on Instagram at so Chantel. You can DM me, you can do whatever. You can comment down below in any of these videos and I will rah-rah for you. I will cheer you on because having support is so incredibly important. And lastly, just get started. Just do it. Day one is always the absolute hardest, followed closely by day two because listen, oh my gosh. But it is always hard to just get out there the first time and go for that walk or go for that jog or go do that yoga session, get your stretch on, lift some weights, like whatever the case. But as soon as you get in it, you're in it. And as soon as you're done, you're done. Like you can say officially my first workout over, finished, done. I did it. Hooray. Five gold stars. Do you know? You just have to do it. So put all the fears aside and just get out there. Be your most courageous self. Be beautiful. Be the fit that you want to be. Do not do this for anybody else. Like do it for you, for you, because you want to feel good. looking crazy so that is my first ski cross in a while I did a low resistance of three out of like 10 million I don't know but it got me so good 